In Module 4 of Chapter 6, we're going to cover the lower of cost or market rule for merchandise inventory. The lower of cost or market rule is really an impairment test or a test for obsolescence, and it is an application of conservatism. So LCM, as it's sometimes called, or the LCM rule, is an application of conservatism, or the concept of conservatism. Now, when we think about the process, first, the rule states that inventory must be carried at the lower of its cost or market value on the balance sheet. So after determining the cost of inventory, you know, we've used LIFO, FIFO, weighted average, maybe specific identification. We have to test for obsolescence in the LCM or using the LCM rule, which is an acid impairment test. And under the LCM rule, the final carrying value of the inventory, as you can see here, on the balance sheet must be the lower of its cost or the market value of the inventory. And market value of inventory right now is measured at the current replacement cost. What it would cost you to replace the inventory in the next accounting period? In some cases, LCM will cause, or at least the LCM test will reveal that inventory will be decreased permanently. So in that case, it's completely obsolete. In other cases, it may just be slow moving. You know, uh, becomes totally obsolete when a new product is released by a competitor. And in some cases, the market value of the inventory on hand uh, will be actually lower than its original cost. And, you know, those are the cases, again, where you have obsolescence or you have slow moving items and you sometimes need to mark them down in order to sell them. And in any event, here we have to adjust the inventory to the lower of the two. So the LCM rule requires that, again, the balance sheet reflects the lower of cost of market. So here's an example. We have Aiden Incorporated. And we assume they're holding $2 million of inventory, but due to technological developments, the market value of that inventory is $1.2 million. The inventory needs to be written down by $0.8 million. It has to be written down to its market value, and that loss will flow through the cost of goods sold. In some cases, there is a other, other techniques that write the loss off directly on the income statement as a separate line item, but we're gonna assume that the loss is gonna flow through the cost of goods sold. Now, let's see how to record the loss due to an LCM write down. Let's assume that Smart Touch paid $300 for its tablet, or $3,000 I should say for its tablet, and this is gonna be the cost in inventory, and that's the stock number of the tablet. And right now, the current replacement cost is 2200, and that's gonna be the market value. So cost is 3000, market is 2200, and therefore, there is a loss of 800. And we have to recognize the loss on the income statement in the period in which it becomes evident. And here we debit the cost of goods sold and credit the merchandise inventory. This will lower net income and inventory on the balance sheet has been reduced. So let me go over to the um, whiteboard and show you that in this case, the merchandise inventory after posting the lower of cost of market adjustment. So in this case, the inventory at cost, and this cost is going to be either a specific identification, specific ID, it could be FIFO, it could be average cost, or LIFO. 
So at one of these methods, that's the cost. The LCM adjustment credits inventory for 800. And now the balance on the T account, when we post this, this is posted from the, the general journal. Journal entry we just made that debited cost of goods sold for 800 and credited the merchandise inventory for 800. After that's posted, the credit is going to reduce inventory and now the balance of the inventory is carried at 2200 on the balance sheet. It is now at lower of cost of market and on the income statement, the cost of goods sold is higher to reflect the loss of utility of that asset.